Congress after Texas and El Paso hit pause on the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. We wanted to know if local health leaders are seeing vaccine hesitancy because of it. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live in South Central El Paso with the trend city leaders are seeing. The city and county health authority says overall El Pasoans are receptive to the COVID-19 vaccine, but according to the fire chief, he says that every single day, 20% of people don't show up for their vaccine appointments. Unfortunately, it does occur regularly. Fire Chief Diagostino says he hasn't seen an uptick in no-shows as of yet, following the pausing of Johnson & Johnson. We average about 20% of people, whether it's first or second dose, who don't show up on a daily basis, and it maintained that across all the sites yesterday as well. So we haven't seen it yet. It's not to say it's not coming, but... We are monitoring that. We are aware of that. Diagostino saying just today there are 600 El Pasoans in need of their second dose, nearing the 42-day time limit that have been no shows. And this has been reoccurring. Dr. Hector Carranza encouraging people not to get discouraged. This announcement regarding the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is not to scare people. While some El Pasoans are not showing up for their appointments, many are. The first dose, I had a bunch of chills and I had a bit of nausea, but I only threw up like one or twice. Despite side effects, Navarro went back for her second dose. I knew it was like important for my family and like for everyone else like to be safe and like to get back to the normal world. Another El Pasoan, Bertha Apodaca, tells KTSM knowing she will be more protected against COVID-19 was motivating to her to follow through with her second dose. The first time um, I had a little bit of discomfort, but um, I, due to the security that I felt once I had the first dosage, I was, I was encouraged to go get the second dosage. While the city of El Paso says many people are no-shows for appointments, that vaccines are not going to waste. Reporting live in Central El Paso, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News.